Billionaire investor, owner Ronald Perlman reportedly, actually not even reportedly really, he is slimming down. Uh, and we're not talking about his figure, Robert Frank. We're talking about his empire. Uh, a lot of things being sold. Bring us up to date on what is going on here. David, well, as you know, he is one of the original corporate raiders using debt and leverage to build this huge empire. But right now, Ronald Perlman is a seller, raising questions about just how large that debt and leverage might be. Now, his net worth has fallen by half from $12 billion to about $6 billion in just three years. His holding company, which is McAndrews and Forbes, that is selling many of its stakes in portfolio companies, including AM General, that is the maker of Humvees, Scientific Games, Flavors Holdings, and Retail Me Not, that is an online coupon company. Now, on the personal side, he's quietly shopping one of his private jets, his yacht, and parts of his massive art collection, which is now valued over $1 billion. Sotheby's auctioning off a Miro for $28 million, and this Gerhard Richter about to come up for sale for $18 million. Now, bankers say Perlman has a series of loans from Citigroup, JPM, and Bank of America, several other banks. Shares of Revlon, that is by far his biggest and most important holding. Those have fallen by over 70% just this year, and the company has about $3 billion in debt. Now, Perlman is saying this is all a planned downsizing in response to COVID and what he calls unprecedented economic environment. He says, I've been very public about my intention to reduce leverage, streamline operations, sell some assets and convert those to cash in order to seek new investment opportunities. So, David, him saying here, this isn't just about getting rid of stuff to pay back debt. This is also about building up cash to look for opportunities in this market. Back to you. Yeah, but it's gotten people's attention. I was looking back at one of my... Uh my notebooks here from quite a while ago, earlier this summer, and I have here written, Perlman's liquidating everything, homes, yachts, art. Uh, I didn't follow up on it. Others have, obviously. You know, is it more than what he's saying, Robert, or is it really just being prudent? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's nothing to believe that this is beyond just being prudent. Look, you know, he is the ultimate financial street fighter, as you know from covering deals. He's so creative about leverage and uses of capital. He says that during this COVID time, he's sort of learned to focus on what's important to him, like many of us have, and he just wants to clean house and downsize. So I think that is part of it. On the other hand, we have a lot of these debt maturities coming due in October and November, and I think then we will start to see just how much debt he has and how he's going to make those payments.